Today we have an ML350 from 2009 in shop because we're getting white lines across the, the display here and we're going to get the radio out of the dash and get it up to the shop and take care of it. We're going to go through the removal steps here. Uh, you can start with a pry bar and pry this bottom edge of the panel around but we found that we could just with finger pressure pull this bottom back to allow the clips to release, pull the bottom out and then down so it releases from a, the car stereo. We're going to set this panel right to the side rather than disconnect it. And now we have two screws. Here on the bottom right we have a silver piece with a little torque screw in it and we're going to just remove this screw Here we go. We're going to pull it down until it stops down here at the other piece of plastic. We're going to go over to the left side, remove this torque screw as well. Lighting is bad this morning. We have a full library of removal guides on our website at carstereohelp.com. See our website if you have other removals or need help with other stereos or problems. And we're also going to take this silver piece on the left and pull that down too. There are several tabs on each side of the car stereo that these metal pieces lock into that lock it into the dash. And with these down, they release, and you should be able to pull the car stereo right out of the dash. Inside, we have this metal bar that, as it pushes up, it has, and down, it has little openings in it one opening here, and one opening in the top. And these openings allow the tabs on the sides of the radio to go in, and then when the bar pushes up, it pulls it into dash and locks it into place. We're going to pull it forward and look at the connectors here on the back. We have several. Uh, the main connector here is a black connector. It has a little trigger on it that we're going to push down, and as you push it down, you take the piece below it and pull it out. It hinges out, and as it hinges out, it pushes the connector out of the back of the stereo. To reinstall this connector, it has to be in this position so that when you put it in, the uh, locks on the side here, as the this goes down, pulls the connector into place. Uh, the remaining connectors we have here are a green antenna that has a little trigger on the top that we're going to push down, and this connector should release. start with the blue one since it's right at the end. There's the blue one with the tab down, the green one with the tab down. Of course these are all color coded so there's no sense to make any notes as to where they go. Uh, the yellow one also has a tab. And then we have the remaining connector here that has a tab on the top with a gray collar on it. We need to push the button down on the top and push the collar over the button. And as it comes around, it pushes the connector out of the back of the stereo as well. This is how you remove the stereo from a 2009 Mercedes ML. Hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe. See our website.